So I had kind of an interesting question come up as I was working with a student on this lesson. Uh, he was complaining that he really didn't like factoring, and he really thought he wanted to know why we had to factor all these expressions before we did the multiplication. And I told him that it's because it made the problem easier to do, and he said that he'd rather just do it without the factoring because he really didn't like factoring, so he thought it would just be easier to do it you know, straight across and not have to worry about it in the factoring first. So I sat down with him and we went to a, a problem that I just kind of made up on the fly and worked out the step by step. And I wanted to kind of take you through those steps. And I tried doing it, but I didn't have anywhere near enough time on my video. So what I did was just go ahead and record it and then uh, paste. I'm going to paste it back in here. And here's the steps that we went through to uh, actually just multiply this straight across without having to bother doing any factoring. We had to take, of course, the top two terms here, the top two uh, expressions, x squared minus x minus 6, and multiply it by uh, x squared minus 7x plus 12, so that we could multiply the, you know, the numerator of our fraction. And that gave us this kind of big old long monstrosity up here on the top of the fraction on the right. And the steps for that are written down right here. And it just, like I said, it took quite a while to go through it. So basically, I just used the vertical multiplication method and then added everything together when I was done. And then we went along and multiplied the denominators of the fractions, uh, x squared minus 5x plus 4 times x squared minus 4. And those steps are written down over here on the right-hand side. And we came up with uh, this expression up here on the top right in the denominator. And then, of course, in order to actually divide any of this, we'd have to use long division at this point, which would be a real long problem because you end up having to multiply everything across over and over again to try and cancel out as many terms as possible. Then I went in and decided that I would just show him step by step what would happen if we factored it. So that's what I want to do. I do have time to do that. So let's actually go through and factor this for you. Let me get rid of these little other arrows here so they're not in our way. Let me factor this for you real quick and show you the difference between that problem factoring or not factoring. First of all, our top uh, first expression here we need two numbers that multiply to be negative 6 and add to be negative 1. So this would be x minus 2 times, I'm sorry, x plus 2 times x minus 3. And then the denominator of that one, that expression, would be uh, two numbers that multiply to be positive 4 and add to be negative 5. So we have uh, negative 4, negative 1. So we have x minus 4 times x minus 1. And then for our other expression on the top right, we have 4 and 3. So we have x minus 4 and x minus 3. And then the bottom one here is a difference of squares. So it's just x minus 2, x plus 2. x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now we have everything factored out. We just cancel the things that match. So we have one here and matching one here. And we have an x minus 4 here and an x minus 4 here. And that's it. So then on the top, we're left with, let me change colors for another step here. On the top, we have x minus 3 times x minus 3. That's all that's left up there. And then on the bottom, we have x minus 1 times x minus 2. And that's it. And if you want to go ahead and multiply those back out, we could actually just write the top as uh, uh, x minus 3 quantity squared, if you like. x minus 3 squared. And then the bottom would be x squared minus 3x plus 3. 3x plus 3. And we're done. So you can see that actually, yes, factoring can be a pain, and not a, a lot of people don't, don't really like it much, but boy, can it save a, a lot of time in the long run. Taking a look again at the difference in, in work, I mean, there's, and we were only halfway done. We hadn't actually done any of the real division here, whereas with the factoring, we've gone clear through and completely simplified this problem, done all the factoring and all the division, uh, and we're down as far as, as far as simplified as we can go, and I've only used half the board. This one, I was all out of space already, and I was only halfway done.